Hello everyone, welcome to back my channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before starting the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button. At society, Nick meets with Mariah and Faith. Maria asks what happened when Sharon came home. Faith says she came home while she was asleep last night, packed a bag and took off. I never even heard her. She texted to say she was gone to Madison for a Cassidy first meeting. Mariah frowns. That meeting was on her calendar. Faith worries she messed up by telling her mom whatever was bothering her wasn't urgent. If something happens to her, it's all her fault. In a motel room, Sharon looks out the window. Cameron wonders if she's worried that her family's going to screech into the parking lot. He grouses that her cover story was flimsy as hell. Sharon snarls that it was his idea. Cameron chuckles, this is all on you. I'm just cheering you on from this seedy motel on the very wrong side of town. Oh, I'm sorry, Madison. Sharon tells him to shut up. He mocks her for telling her kids she went to a meeting there and says her family didn't believe her. What do you think is going to happen when they find out you lied? At Crimson Lights, Devin and Nate are discussing the latter rejoining the board at Winters when Lily comes in. They ask if she's still considering taking Billy to court. Lily says that may not be necessary. She has a plan and is confident it will work out. Billy's cockiness will be his downfall as usual. Devin is glad she has confidence, but warns her not to underestimate what Billy's capable of if he feels threatened. At Abbott Chancellor, Billy deduces that the owner of Odyssey 7 is bailing on the deal. Someone got to him. He's sure Victor is trying to sabotage the deal, and Lily teed it up for him. Phyllis thinks it makes perfect sense. They have the same vision. They're possibly in this together, Billy. Billy muses about Lily having Victor in her back pocket. Phyllis feels Lily's not as smart as she thinks she is. She muses that Victor told Lily about coming after the company as a trap to manipulate her. Billy nods, Victor set up Lily in order to use her. Phyllis thinks that's why she trusted him to give him the secret intel. Billy thinks she knows she can't trust Victor. Phyllis says, she's emotional, that's her weakness, she's not focused, she's not thinking about the long game. They wonder if she'll gloat, so they know they're on the right track. Billy worked too hard on this deal to let Victor or Lily take it away from him. At Crimson Lights, Lily scoffs that Billy's way too busy tripping over his ego to be a threat. Devin reminds her they underestimated him before, now he's king of the hill. Lily won't give up until she's back where she belongs. Devin reminds her she has options, and Nate thinks it would be great for their family to work together again. He warns this will get ugly, and there's no guarantee she'll win. Lily says her plan is in place, and when Billy realizes it, it will be too late to stop it. Just then, she gets a text from Billy asking to meet. She tells her brother and cousin that her plan is working, and he's feeling the heat. At society, Nick, Faith, and Maria go over Nick talking to Sharon at the coffee house. He thought there was something off about her interaction with Daniel. Maria gets a text explaining why she's taking the meeting instead of her. Nick thinks it sounds legit. Faith realizes that Maria doesn't believe it and thinks their mom is in trouble. Maria isn't sure, but her leaving in the middle of the night is questionable. Nick says it's odd for her to leave after he told her Faith needed her. Maria asks if he's sure she didn't suspect anything. Nick doesn't know. He offered to drive her home but she insisted on driving herself. She may have used this business trip as an excuse to run. Maria says, there's only one way to find out. In the motel, Cameron warns Sharon that her family will call the hotel in Madison to see if she checked in. Sharon did a remote check-in, so the hotel will think she's in her room. Cameron asks what will happen when Maria calls the guy she's supposed to be meeting with. Sharon protests, please. Cameron says she's in a bind of her own making, and it doesn't look good. Sharon says it was last minute, and she did the best she could. Cameron's starting to suspect it wasn't her best. Her phone starts ringing. It's Mariah. At Abbott Chancellor, 
Phyllis says Lily tried to screw Billy over, and now she's playing victim. He gets a text from Lily saying, Unless you're willing to give Chancellor back to me, there's nothing to say. Phyllis wonders where she gets off making demands like that. Billy says they'll find out and dials her number. At Crimson Lights, Lily answers her phone and guesses he's in over his head running Chancellor alone. He says everything is fine. He warns he knows what she's up to and she's making a serious mistake.